Hello, and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Although I know we're commanded in the Bible not to worry, I cannot deny that the letter I received yesterday has me concerned about the future of the Daily Visual Bible. Basically, I have an appointment made for me at the local job centre that they call a work-focused interview for partners. The only reason I've been able to create this programme is because I've had the time not only to read the Bible, but to edit each show on a daily basis. I fear that if the job sends off their way, I might lose the time I have available to create this show. So I request that you do pray for me on the 29th of October, and ask that God guides those who interview me to help me on the path He wishes me to walk. It's Leviticus 7 today, so let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. He also asks that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus chapter 7 This is the law of the guilt offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill the burnt offering, he shall kill the guilt offering, and its blood he shall sprinkle around on the altar. He shall offer all of its fats, the fat tail, and the fat that covers the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver. The kidneys shall he take away, and the priest shall burn them on the altar for an offering made by fire to Yahweh. It is a guilt offering. Every male among the priests may eat of it. It shall be eaten in a holy place. It is most holy. As in the sin offering, so is the guilt offering. There is one law for them. The priest who makes reconciliation with them shall have it. The priest who offers any man's burnt offering, even the priest shall have for himself the skin of the burnt offering which he has offered. Every meal offering that is baked in the oven, and all that is dressed in a pan and on the griddle, shall be eaten by the priest who offers it. Every meal offering, mixed with oil or dry, belongs to all the sons of Aaron, one as well as another. This is the law of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which one shall offer to Yahweh, if he offers it for thanksgiving. And he shall offer with the sacrifice of the thanksgiving, Eleven cakes mixed with oil, and eleven wafers anointed with oil, and cakes mixed with oil. With cakes of leavened bread, he shall offer his offering, and the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving. Of it, he shall offer one out of each offering, for he offering to Yahweh. It shall be eaten by the priest who sprinkles the blood of the peace offerings. The flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings for his thanksgiving shall be eaten on the day of his offering. He shall not leave any of it until the morning. But the sacrifice of his offering is a vow, or free will offering. It shall be eaten on the day that he offers his sacrifice, and on the next day what remains of it shall be eaten. But what remains of the meat of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burned with fire. If any of the meat of the sacrifice of his peace offerings is eaten on the third day, it will not be accepted, and it shall not be credited to him who offers it. It will be an abomination, and the soul who eats of it will bear his wickedness. The meat that touches any young clean thing shall not be eaten. It shall be burned with fire. As for the meat, everyone who is clean may eat it. But the soul who eats of the meat of the sacrifice of peace offerings that belongs to Yahweh, having his uncleanness on them, that soul shall be cut off from his people. When anyone touches any unclean thing, the uncleanness of man, or an unclean animal, or any unclean abomination, and eats some of the meat of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which belong to Yahweh, that soul shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, You shall eat no fat, of bull, or sheep, or goat. The fat of that which dies of itself, and the fat of that which is torn of animals, may be used for any other service, but you shall in no way eat of it. For whoever eats the fat of the animal, of which men offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh, even the soul who eats it shall be cut off from his people. 
You shall not eat any blood, whether it is of bird or of animal, in any of your dwellings. Whoever it is who eats any blood, that soul shall be cut off from his people. The Holy Spirit was saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, He who offers the sacrifice of his peace offerings to Yahweh, shall bring his offering to Yahweh, out of the sacrifice of his peace offerings. With his own hands he shall bring the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. He shall bring the fat with the breast, that the breast may be waved for a wave offering before Yahweh. The priest shall burn the fat on the altar, but the breast shall be Aaron's and his sons. The right fire you will give to the priest for a heave offering out of the sacrifices of your peace offerings. He among the sons of Aaron who offers the blood of the peace offerings and the fat shall have the right fire for a portion. For the wave breast and the heave fire they have taken from the children of Israel out of the sacrifices of their peace offerings and have given them to Aaron the priest and to his sons as their portion forever from the children of Israel. This is the anointing portion of Aaron, and the anointing portion of his sons, as are the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. In the day when he presented them to minister to Yahweh in the priest's office, which Yahweh commanded to be given them of the children of Israel, in the day that he anointed them, is their portion forever throughout their generations. This is the law of the burnt offering, of the meal offering, and of the sin offering, and of the guilt offering, and of the consecration, and of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which Yahweh commanded Moses in Mount Sinai, in the day that he commanded the children of Israel to offer their offerings to Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai.